Monday and normally I don't start my vlogging on Monday but I want to come on and just share something with y'all um she doesn't have that many subscribers at all still so every now and then as a content creator I search myself to make sure no one's look no one's using my information inappropriately um to see basically to see what's out there and it's a good thing to do if you have a, a blog if you're you know a youtuber you know aka content creator whatever so yeah give you a little flash so anyway I did a search for my maiden name and I totally forgot that I attended a, another YouTuber's meetup a couple of years ago. And so my maiden name came up and it was posted on Essence. And I was like, wow, I totally forgot about her. Now her name is, I don't think she's here anymore. I think she moved to Dallas. Her name is Adesa Tula. And she was able to grab Essence attention. She's a small time YouTuber, 5,000 subscribers, and have them to list her um, photos on the page. But anyway, this brings me to just the fact that here in Phoenix, because the demographics are not there and we're so spread out, we don't have turnouts for meetups for natural hair or anything like that. I am actually in a natural hair meetup group on meetup and it shut down this year because no one had the initiative to pick it up and I know a lot of people have reached out to me and said well maybe you should have me I'm looking the wrong way no baby I would not for several reasons one we don't have the demographics two I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get free products because again we don't have the demographics and three people don't show up there's no way to communicate with other black people out here. There's no foundation of a black community out here as opposed to other places like St. Louis, Houston, Dallas, Georgia, Atlanta. We don't have that here, y'all. I've been here for 12 years. And you'll be surprised who actually lives. There are some top YouTubers and content creators that live out here who do not work together to do stuff. Ambrosia is out here, X Golden X. Oh yeah, she's out here. Muffins is my lover is out here. What is her name? She's from New York. She's out here. Um, there's two other YouTubers. One young lady, she has very high cheekbones. I want to call their fat cheekbones. Very high cheekbones. She's light skinned. She does makeup. She beats the hell out her face. She does makeup, and she does um, hair. I know. I just described like a thousand YouTubers. She's out here. And I know my friend D has reached out to certain people, not going to name any names, and they completely ignore her, which is why she's had to fly out. It doesn't make any freaking sense that you have to fly out Shari J or Tamika, a.k.a. the Curl Whisperer, when we have well-known vloggers and bloggers here in the state, in the city, 30 minutes away that don't want to show up. I have a feeling that's how it is in a lot of other places, too. Um, but you would think in a place like Phoenix where there's only 6% black people that we would try to get together. So um, this is how things can get out of hand real fast, real quick. Now, Lord, as you can see, this is a lot more products than what I had showed y'all in my current hair care collection. That video is only a month old, but I already have about 10, between 10 to 15 more products. Um, I'm going to show y'all what's coming up because I'm like that. I'm one of those type of YouTubers. I know a lot of people want to be secretive and boom, here's a review. But I like to let y'all know what's coming up. That way you can give me feedback. Now, one thing I do want to say is that where's Holly? the Hollywood Beauty Cholesterols are down there. They were going to send me some more products. They said uh, I'm not going to review those. Lord have mercy. So uh, let's just start here. I purchased um chocolate kinks and curls her co-wash excuse me clay wash has some great reviews on that this is still coming this is ugh, we're about a month behind on this deep conditioner here and then the texture id now they have been having great sales i stopped by a couple of weeks ago purchased the mask and the styling cream but then i stopped by today with intentions on getting the egyptian what is that y'all the clove uh, line by the main choice but girl I, I, I just didn't feel like spending $40 almost $40 on three products instead texture ID had a sale it was buy one get one 50% off I got these two for for $13 so here we have a mousse and then we have a leave-in spray yeah. oh I don't like this camera okay Vivian stop complaining at least you have a camera let me turn off the all right y'all it's Tuesday 
Um, I'm I'm going blank, y'all. So, anyway, it's Tuesday. Look, I've been stalking one of my packages. I ordered a dress. I think I told y'all last night. I ordered a dress from ASOS. Lovely. It's here in Phoenix. It's so weird. Like, I guess they didn't update the tracking from Spain to here, but it's here in Phoenix. I should get it today. I'll show y'all what it looks like. It is bad. It is a blush. Not pink. It's a color blush. Very, very different. The cut is bad. I'm going to be wearing this dress at the banquet for my 20-year high school reunion. Um, nothing else is going on, y'all. My husband is off today. I'm going to be cooking. Let me tell you what I'm cooking, girl. Glad you asked. I'm going to be making... I'm marinating some chicken right now. It's been in the, in the um, fridge all this time. All right, y'all. I'm going to go check my mail because I knew my glasses are dark. I knew I was going to get my dress from my high school reunion. Yes, girl. Let me go ahead and open this up, y'all. I need to be careful. Um, Speaking of... Child, I am a, I wouldn't consider myself a, a type A, but I want those type of people who wear, I really don't like change. If I have things already planned and ready to go, you can't spring stuff on me. So my husband decides that he wants to go with us now to Texas. Mind you, he's been knowing all this time that I've been planning this trip. So he tells me, and y'all, my husband, oh, this dress looks big as hell, y'all. Yeah, I'm animated. So it says UK size 16, but this is not a 16. I can tell. Look at that. Look at that back. That's not a 16. Because I ordered a 12. This is supposed to be a 12. Look at my dress, y'all. I'm going I'm to I'm try, try it on for you guys. But look at that cut. I'm going to try it on here in a minute. But, girl, let me tell you. So... My husband is a man of very little words. So when he speaks, I listen. So earlier today, he's like, so yeah, I was looking at those dates you were talking about and come to find out I'm off that weekend. So I figured why not take two more days off and just go with you guys. I looked at him and said, oh, that's, that would be great. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy and I'm a little bit like perturbed that you say it because absolutely i'm happy for my husband for us to be traveling as a family because he gets to help me with jb my classmates get to see him <coughs> i get to you know we get to hang over our family because he has family in dallas too you guys but part of me was like what the hell because i had everything already planned the first two days i was i was going to stay with my best friend we were going to get turned up at her place and then while I'm in Longview, shout out to 903, Tyler, Texas, Marshall. Let me shut up. Um, while I was in Longview, I was going to stay at my sister's hotel. She works at a hotel there off of Essence Parkway. And I was going to stay there, and she was going to come over. We were going to get turned up some more. I can't do that with my husband around. <laughs> I can't. So right now, even when it comes to something as simple as I, my, my rental car, he's like, okay, what type, what type of rental car you got? I said, I just got a regular compact car. Shaking his head. Mm -mm. My husband is bougie, you guys. I wouldn't even call it necessarily bougie. He's not one of those type of people who wear, you know, let's let's do a, 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 a Uber. Was that how you say it? A Uber. Let's do an Uber from the from the airport. No, girl. He's like, uh, no, we need to rent a SUV, intermediate size. I'm like, oh, he's no, I'm gonna call call it what it is. He's a little bougie. So I told him about the hotel. I said, well, we're going to be staying at this hotel. My sister works there. We can get a discount. He's saying, no. Are there any Hiltons there? I'm like, this? Oh, she is cute. Let me show you. Excuse the mirror. Um, excuse JB. This is very cute. Very, very cute. I got this from ASOS. Very nice. I think this goes up like this, and this goes up like this, sort of, kind of. The effect. I thought that I would have to lose weight for this, but I don't think so. Um, and I thought the fabric is a little thick. I mean, the I think it's gonna be in September. The banquet, I should say, it's gonna be in September. This job is ridiculous. It's gonna be in September, but the fabric is funny. It's like a I feel like I'm wearing biker, like you know, the fabric almost like the fabric for biker uniform. I know it's weird. So yeah, you guys, this is what it looks like. Um these are the shoes. Do y'all remember these shoes? Hold on. Ooh, I'm going to show some girls. I'm going to be wearing these shoes. Do y'all remember these? Oh, my, now, I don't want my husband to kind of match up. So, I will probably find him like a blush pink 
or gray. He can wear light gray and then like a pink and gray tie so we can match. This would be very cute. Very, very cute. Very nice. All right, y'all. So, yes, this man is like, I want to go with y'all, which is fine, like I said. So, I went ahead and uh, upgraded our vehicle to an SUV, which really wasn't... It was only $50 more, so that was okay. And I booked us another hotel in Longview, but now we're looking for a hotel in Dallas. I told him we should probably stay in Garland, which, you know, is on our way to um, Longview, which would be good. Um, we've stayed at a lot of hotels, but baby, one hotel I saw, and we've stayed here before they started doing renovations, the Anatole off of Stevens Freeway. Those of you who, you know, familiar with Dallas, you know what I'm talking about. That hotel is bad. Now, I hadn't seen what it looked like since they've done the renovations. It is beautiful, y'all. It's been a crazy type of, we're in the middle of the summertime here and it's kind of slow, but not really. So it's been a little crazy lately at work. A little slow, but then we get, you know, spikes of busyness. So, um, yeah, y'all, still waiting on my camera to come back. It should be here on Thursday. Hell, still waiting on my camera to get here. It should be here on Thursday and, um, I did call a you fix it. I did call a you fix it or I fix it. They don't fix anything. The only other place that fixes the cameras, the Canon camera, I don't even know if they fix Canon. The problem is they don't make this camera anymore. So they don't have any parts for it. That's why Canon was like, we can replace it. The only parts I've been able to find have been um, international sites. you know what you can't tell me there's no guy y'all heard me complaining about this volunteering thing how i haven't had any um training yada yada y'all i I've, I've told them that i've had i have other volunteer um another volunteer opportunity and i'll let you know what my schedule is now mind you there have been three separate people emailing me all this times and i feel like no one is talking to the other person so yesterday i checked my email from the main lady who does the coordination and she has been on the schedule for July 7th or 8th for volunteer training. I didn't say anything. I'm gonna go ahead and do it y'all. I'm like, okay, y'all heard me. I've been complaining all this time about not getting any training, it's unorganized. And out of the blue, they put me on a schedule to actual do some training. So I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do that. And I will also be waiting on more information from the library and I'm gonna volunteer there too. So y'all keep myself busy. I hell I'm already busy. I'm about to get drunk too. Here is my honey sriracha chicken thigh. I said a couple of pieces pieces is gonna be Cajun style girl. Hey, it is what it is. Some cilantro lime rice. This is the bomb.com. I may do a separate video on this one day. Sweet potato puree. And of course, gotta have your greens. This is kale and collard greens. They have timeshares too. They have a timeshare in Sedona, I think. Hey y'all, girl, her is looking big, big. Um, y'all, I have to give my husband props. Um, I know I don't talk about him that much on my channel because it's just something I like to give a little private, but I have a great man. Um, we had some issues while we, you know, we did a little split up right there a couple of years ago, but even then he has always been a provider. That is one thing that I never have to complain about. When my husband and I split, I never put him on child support. There was never even thought as if anything I know about this man is that he is good about his money. Very blessed because I know some women don't have that. Anyway, so this morning he tells me, he's like, we could go ahead and stay at that hotel that you like. I'm like, for real? He's like, yeah, you, you can go ahead and, and reserve it. Hey, man. So I guess he saw my my uh, response because they've done renovations. Y'all, my hair is really looking messy. They've done renovations there. We've stayed there before, but not at this level. Drop off JB at summer camp, and while we were there, we saw all his little friends. And y'all, I study JB, or I watch his interactions with children. Um, I think as a parent, one of the things that we are responsible for 
not only teaching our children, but making sure that our children are prepared for the world because we're not going to be there all the time. So I was speaking to some of the mothers and letting them know about, because they were asking me about the summer school. This particular school had two weeks of summer boot camp. I'm like, Jamie doesn't need two weeks. We'll do one week. We're good. So we saw a lot of his friends, including Thomas across the street there because this week is the second week. And I felt a little bad because, you know, he's going over to the summer camp. And there's not a lot of kids his age in that summer camp. Um, I think there's less than five kids his age. And they can hold up to 25 people, right? So uh, I dropped him off. But then I stayed behind through the windows. He couldn't see me just to see him interact with other children. Because, again, he's one of the youngest ones there. I think there's him and another little boy that are five and six years old. Maybe two or three. Not a lot. So I'm seeing him interacting and he's trying to get a ball from another child because they're playing, there's three kids playing with two balls. So JB's trying to get another ball. So JB is in front trying to get it and there's another little boy, he looks to be about eight or nine years old, another little boy behind him and he eventually he's trying to get JB's shoulder, he's tugging his shoulder and eventually he pulls JB away and he gets the ball and... <laughs> Look, I, my mama bear reflexes poked in, but I'm looking. He, the ch that child wasn't rough at all, but still, I'm I'm the mom and I'm looking at this like you need to get your hands off my child, right? But no, I'm looking at, and JB looks at him. He's like, <laughs> JB makes his face. He's animated girl. Don't know where he got that from, right? So JB looks at him. He's like, hmm. And he's like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> he walks so he walked away from the situation instead of just keeping at it he figured hey this kid doesn't want me to get his damn ball I ain't gonna try to get him and walk away so he walked away and I steadily just watch him interact again these are a little bit older children and he looked like he can hold his own so I'm proud of my boy he's 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 good you know maybe some other kids probably wouldn't have been able to deal with that but he knows how to gauge a situation and leave. And I like that about JV. Um, he also comes home and tells me, because I know that they're not playing with him, because they're a lot older. Some of the kids do, but they're older, and they view him as a baby, technically. So I'm like, well, how does that make you feel? And he's like, oh, I'm okay. He said, I'm fine. He said, sometimes I'm sad, but I'm fine. That's good, y'all. One thing that I do with JV is I pour into my child. I pour into him, meaning that I speak words of encouragement. Last week, when I dropped him off, when he had made the comment that no one was playing with him, I let him know you are brave, you are courageous, you are smart, God loves you, mama loves you. That's our little morning thing that I do to pump him back up sometimes where I could tell that his, you know, he's feeling a little down. And he was like, he's like, okay, mama. So he'll, he'll be good, y'all. So yeah, y'all, nothing much going on today. Look, today is technically the start of my wash day. I have begun breaking up my, from the time I detangle, wash, style my hair, it's three to four days. I don't have time to detangle, wash, set my hair in one day. It will literally take half a day. Like I'm not even exaggerating. It takes me, I can get through a quick detangling session is an hour. I got me a new wooden comb um, that I ordered from Amazon. So still, it'll take me about an hour, especially now. This is what I'm working with in the back. Yeah, it's starting to rope up. You see some areas? <sighs> some areas are starting to dread up. So I get my camera tomorrow. If I get the camera before five, I will be reviewing two products. If not, it is what it is. And then, um, when is it? I may have to blow out my hair. Oh, cause I'm going to that brunch on Saturday and I need for my hair to set on, on Friday. So I'm more than likely I'm going to have to blow out my hair tomorrow after I wash it and then set it Friday morning for it to be ready. I'm not doing a hairstyle because if my camera's not together, yeah. Anyway, y'all.